sometimes it's just the little things okay hang on one second oop, oop. there we go ta-da <laughs> oh boy <sighs> greetings and salutations my name is Tish and welcome to the artist haven or home Plus art equals heart. In tonight's live, -da 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 -da, drum roll please, we're going to do more <laughs> with this joint compound. I'm having way too much fun, guys. Because I had this idea, and I want to see if it works. Because I've seen it done with other things, and done other things, and yeah. So, hi, Jay. Hello, honey. I'm wearing my ring today. I remembered to put it on. I don't remember if I put it on yesterday or not. <clears throat> or if it was today. I don't know. It's been kind of a blur the last 24, 48 hours. Just kind of all melted into one big conglomerate of ideas and projects and things I need to do and computery stuff and talking to a couple of people that I know that are smarter than me when it comes to computer stuff. Um, one of them, I, I'm going to be watching some of his videos as he releases them. And if they are, well, talking with him, they're going to be good enough for me to promote here. So, because um, I am technologically retarded, okay? I am... <laughs> I am not a computer hacker. I am not a computer guru. I am, I can muddle my way through a lot of things, but it takes me a lot longer than the average person. Now you ask me to make, you know, any kind of anything in the kitchen. You ask me to, you know, paint a house or to even build you a house. I can do pretty much anything construction wise except electrical because that scares me. Um, Electrical stuff, if you screw that up, that can make a house go kablooey. So I don't mess with that. Unless I absolutely have to. I can change out a light fixture. I can change out a switch. I can run cables. I can do that kind of thing. But when it comes to that circuit breaker box and anything that's live, nope, mm -mm, ain't doing it. Anyway, I've been talking to some people. I've been doing some research um, and, and things that... Um, I'm hoping I can share with you guys in the future. I'm learning. One of the things that I've been doing the last couple days is um, learning how to do a screen record. And um, I'm going to make a couple of videos on how to edit. Um, how to edit in the... Excuse me. Got the hiccups now. Um how to edit in the silhouette software this guy here um i've got the business edition and in that video i will click link i will give links to where i got my uh, software upgrade at a reasonable price and also um i'm thinking about getting a circuit maker but that's down the road i gotta get a cell phone i gotta get a regular dia uh regular camera camera and I gotta get a new laptop and then the circuit oh and all that stuff is just from me selling my artwork and that kind of thing so I've been trying to cut down the budget that I had for all the artistic endeavors and stuff so anywho that's the other thing I was working on is my web page because that's yeah sad I'm paying monthly fees for something that's not generating me income, and I'm trying to figure out SEOs and all that other stuff. Oh boy. For someone who is not computer smart, it's a lot, and it gives me a headache. So last night, we put a coat of the glue compound. It is compound, the joint compound, and water and glue that got all 
conglomerated and clunky so I put my water in it and it got really soupy so I let it sit for a day you know most of the day and or for another day and I stirred it up really good got all the chunks out and it still is really soupy so I did put another two coats on here and um one last night before I went to sleep and once this morning so it should be nice and solid and dry so we are going to we as if there are more people here than me I am going to do my best to get this to peel off without <laughs> that's the challenge to peel off without ripping the stencil for one because even though it's an inexpensive stencil I think I paid like a dollar for this stencil um, why ruin a good thing when you got it, right? Because I really do like these. These are cute. And these would be fun. These will be fun for backgrounds and stuff on different projects. But and I only got one. Okay, where is my little pointer thingy? You know, I have all these tools, and I can never find them when I need them. This isn't what I wanted to grab, but it'll work. There we go. There. Er. <laughs> okay, and sound effects are optional when doing this, but I tend to <laughs> I tend to make weird noises when I'm doing stuff, especially when I'm by myself. All right, yay! And we did look. Didn't rip the stencil. Ta-da! And I've noticed with working with joint compound, if you let it dry on there, it's all right. You just throw it in a bucket of hot water and it'll scrub off with a, like a nail brush or scrubby brush. So, <clears throat> and I wash almost everything with Dawn dish soap except my brushes. I have a special soap that I use for my brushes. So, ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to take this. Wow, this has got a completely different texture to it. This is a little bit more hardcore. This doesn't chip off as easy as the other stuff did. Okay, so we're just going to kind of try, <laughs> do our best to get some of these extra chunks to chip off. This is really actually some hardcore stuff, man. I Normally on the, um, the joint compound, I can just go in there and go and it's done. This stuff is pretty hardcore. So we're just going to go with this. I'm just kind of knocking down the edges a little bit. I'm squishing. I'm actually squishing the foam that's underneath here. So I mean, I didn't get any of it to really chip off, but I pushed it down. So we'll see. So that is the raised stencil that we did. See, that's got a nice, I mean, for as thin as it was, it's got a nice layer. And, and I actually pushed down really hard. You can see right there, it's got kind of the thing but that's because I'm working on foam because I had a bunch of this foam just kind of laying around and there's another thing that I've meant to experiment with today and I got sucked into the vortex that is the computer and I didn't get to it so let's pick that guy off yeah he can go. so I'm thinking when you're not working with foam when you're actually doing this on like a canvas or some other less malleable material feel um be able to not have that happen. So what I'm going to do though, because this is kind of non-porous, it I mean it has a completely different feel. It feel I mean it's like it's not chipping away at all. So this if you're doing something a race stencil on like a piece of furniture that you're not gonna do a lot of paint on you know you're only gonna do one coat of paint or maybe two like that Victoria the Victoria cabinet that I have on the, on the site on the uh, on my website and on and on uh, where did that paintbrush go and on the YouTube channel the one that kind of inspired me to do all of these is this the one that I use yeah this is the one I use I can still feel the wax in it I'm gonna put just a thin coat of wax on here this is just uh, well, well, that wanted to fall off, so we'll just let that fall off. This is uh, Debbie's Design Dyer DIY Wax, and I have a big, big thing of it and a little thing of it. So the little thing I dip into, the big thing I do not. Because if I double, if I contaminate this, I'm not worried about it. 
because I use this just as my reliefs and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put a coat of wax on here and then we're going to do an acrylic pour on this guy. And then I'm going to show you the idea that I had for that other one that we did the other night. So I'm just kind of, I'm actually going to kind of gob it on there just to see what happens. I mean, not super gobby. I don't want like big, gigantic chunks like what's right there. So I'm going to put it on relatively thick. And I mean, it's not soaking in at all either. So I'll just see what happens. Because I'm trying to figure out a way to do this as a relief. Because why well, have color, colored compound if you're not going to show the color? Not that I really want to show this, you know, beautiful taupe color. Blah boring. That's one thing I will never do unless one of my children want it. I mean, even family and friends, I will not paint white furniture. I refuse. Unless it's like color underneath a chippy layer of white, that I'll do. That I'll do. But like a solid white, nope. Mm -mm. That's not fun. And I realize I need to pay bills and stuff, but that's why I have my job. It's because that pays my bills. This, this is the fun stuff. And if you don't like my art, I can suggest someone to you that will do what you want. But I, I, I gotta draw the line somewhere. I gotta be, I gotta be able and willing to say the word no. I can tell people they're crazy. But that's not kind. Okay, I'm trying to do this fast, but I'm not very fast. Oh dang it, it keeps clumping right there. I want it on the edge. There we go. And it keeps like, and they, these are inexpensive paint brushes, so I think I paid like $8 for the whole set. Are these Masters Touch? Yeah, they're the fine touch. These are Hobby Lobby ones. But they were on sale like 50% off. And that's the only time I ever buy any of that stuff is when it's 50% off. One of the things that I'm going to be doing too is, <clears throat> speaking of Hobby Lobby, because I wanted to go in there and price out their canvas, like rolled canvas, is I want to make my own canvases. Um, Devon Artistry, who is out of Canada. I think he's out of Toronto, though, not Vancouver. Um, he showed how to wrap a canvas on one of his videos, and it was like, whoa, dude, I can do that. That's like upholstery. That's like super easy. I've been doing that for a couple of decades now. Because I am frugal. I'm not cheap. I won't buy cheap crap. I mean, unless it's disposable stuff like these Masters Touch Fine art brushes. I don't need the, the you know, $13, $15, $20 dollar brushes. Like one brush is like $20. I don't need that kind of stuff. I don't do that kind of art. Not now, anyways. Maybe when I get old and I can't move around like I do. Which isn't far off. They keep working me like they do. But... Um, I don't have the patience for that kind of art either. I like I like my quick result art. That's why I can't do like counted cross stitch or um, I was watching the the Rhinestone World live last night and they were talk, talking about flat back stones and doing blinging out like a whole coffee mug thing and I'm like dude that's like 20,000 stones. Nope, I can't sit there and plink out 20,000 stones. No, nope, not my thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like bling. I like shiny. I like glitter. It's probably the only really girly thing other than the fact that I like the pinup girl retro style. That's, that's my girly outlet. I'm still kind of... I've always liked that, though. I've always liked the 19... 40s, 50s style. 
I've been that way since junior high. And Betty Page is my hero. And, you know, Marilyn Monroe and um, Mae West and just all these very curvy, sensual women that dressed like women, you know? I mean, even like Dolly Parton, I think she's just, you know, stunning. She's always so delicate and feminine, and I love that. I can't, I can't be that delicate person, because I'm not a delicate person. I am in my heart, but my body type isn't that way. Let's just put it that way. Okay, we're going to do just some quick... over these ones. I love Betty Page. Oh my gosh. I have a tattoo picked out that I'm going to get someday. Someday I will get a Betty Page tattoo. I know exactly where it's going, but I gotta get to the point where it's not dipping into other things. I got other things to do. Tattoos? I've already got three tattoos. So tattoos are not a priority. I mean, I'd love to I I'd love to have a tattoo artist and interview a tattoo artist for you know on my channel here. That's something that I'm working on as well as getting other artists um, to do interviews with me. So we can ask them, you know, the hard pressing questions and even some of the silly questions. Because I think we learn the best from listening to others and learning from others, you know, just talking with them and, and conversing with them. I am not a big person on big groups. And going to our, um, the Artisan Summit is going to be a real challenge for me. But... I'm going because I promised my daughter and I'm going to be very frugal for the next six months. Because I made a promise to my daughter and I'm going to keep it. All right, we're going to do two. I did two layers on most of these, I think. Maybe three because I can't tell. On the other one, I could tell it got darker, but this is only slightly darker than the rest of it. So, just kind of, oh, too much. One I'm going to try, <clears throat> one that I want to try here is um, seeing what I can do with with um, clear, like a clear medium, like even glue, like even Elmer's glue or something. Because we have all these cool colors now. And then, I don't know, and then I thought, you know, stamp over it or something, you know, do some oxide inks on them, the oxide, um, distressed oxides on them, or I, I don't know. That's what I love about mixed media is you can do whatever you want and just gotta play around with it and see what kind of effects you get. So I think I think we're good. I'm gonna kind of gloop it on this one just to see. I'm just gonna gloop it on these bigger guys. Gloop. That's a technical term. Just so you know. So I'm hoping between the combination of the glue and the wax that we'll be able to have a, a um, relief, a, a resist. There we go. I'm like, that relief is not the right word. All right. Where's my tail? I'm going to wipe off all the wax off this brush. 
Okay, I'm back. And I just, it, the wax is mostly off of there. And if I only, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to remind myself which brush I used. And this is how I do a lot of things, is I just put a piece of tape on it. That way I know. Like, these are my water pens. The reason why I know they're my water pens is because I have blue tape on them. My um, other pens that I have that are exactly like that, um, they're the um, for alcohol inks, and they have the blending solution in them. So that way I know the ones without tape have blending solution, and the ones with tape have water. And you could even get really fancy and get that colored electrical tape and put that on there and... and organize each you know have it color coded all fancy you know one has alcohol one has water one has um blending solution you know you can do it all fancy i thought it'd be kind of cool to put blending solution and a few drops of alcohol ink in it you know like a black alcohol ink or something i don't know okay excuse me as i have a drink of my beverage I have juice again tonight, and I have tea, because I made tea earlier, and then I forgot about it, but it's got caffeine in it, so I shouldn't really be drinking it, but I am, because it tastes really good. Okay, so I'm just going to use the rest of this guy, hopefully it's enough. Er, okay, trying to get the... This is a really small cup. It's really small. Okay. So, there we go. Put you guy up there so it sticks out of my way. Alright, we're just gonna do a dirty pour here. We're just gonna kind of dump it in the middle. I'm not even gonna try and do a tree ring pour. I don't think, oh, there it goes. It's kind of doing a tree ring pour. I think that's going to be enough. If not, we'll get the corners with the extra, because there's still paint in there. Okay. Go swing it around town. Try not to get it off the. Oh, you have a little bit of surface tension there because of the thingamabob. And a little there too. Break this surface tension up. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go back this way. Okay, so some of that wax is causing a relief, kind of. It's just kind of spread this out. Sorry to realize I was out of frame. I have my other lights on, but it seems really dark in here. Okay, so we're going to bring it all to this corner to see what happens. Okay, so I didn't gesso any of this foam or anything like that. I just kind of went with it. Um, I'm out of gesso anyways, so it got a little muddy, but that's okay. We're just kind of seeing what the paint does. It's still kind of cool though, because it's really sparkly. I want to tip it this way for a minute, because I don't like that line that's at the top. like that better. There we go. Towel. 
So that's what that looks like so far. You can see the the impression underneath. So I'm kind of, unless I come up with something that works as a better resist, I'm kind of thinking you have to, we'll have to come in with the something on top of it again. And speaking of that, let me cover this paint up so I don't spill it. Because there's still that weed little bit at the bottom and I will use that somehow. I gotta cover it so it doesn't dry out or I don't spill it. And see, I smash the top and then I push the sides down. So that way you got a good, decent seal. I won't say a good seal because there's paint on the edge, but I'm gonna move this guy out of my way. Ooh. We're gonna move this guy out of here. And I had this idea today while I was searching around my, this is the one we did with the texture, the ostrich roller texture. And I was gonna come back in with a black Sharpie or some black paint or something. And I'm like, well, what if we use the silver Sharpie? Would that actually show up? So let's try that because I have one of those. I actually have like three, but so I'm just gonna come in here and hit these guys. Just like that. That actually looks kind of cool. Oops. I just don't know if I can get, oh well, maybe I can get inside these little ones. So there's an option for you. If you wanted to do black though, you could do black. I just happen to like silver. I'm a sterling silver kind of freak. I like that stuff. I don't like gold. Gold I break out from, usually. Plus, it, I have that complexion where gold just looks weird on me. I, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> black Hills gold used to be a thing when I was growing up, and I, everybody had their Black Hills gold ring, and they were so proud of it. And, and I didn't have one. I feel robbed somehow, but... I didn't really like it anyways. I just, it wasn't my thing. It was like pink. Mm, yeah, pink. So that, I don't know if I like that or not. I think I might come back in with a brown after a minute. The other idea I had, so that's a Sharpie marker. So this one's red. Wonder. I'm going to try something because I can. See, I kind of like that. Stuff my blending marker in the bin. Okay, so there's the Sharpie marker and the silver marker. I don't know. I don't like the silver, it's too bright for this thing. So, I have something else that I wanted to try. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find them. Find one. They think will work. I have these paint markers. So, water based paint markers. So they don't stink to high heaven. They're still kind of stinky. I just need to find a scrap piece of paper. Actually, this will work. Scrap piece of foam. I don't like white gold either. It's still got that yellow undertone to it. And I don't like it. I like silver. Or platinum. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh, that's a really fat tip. Okay. Let's see how this does. I'm just going to paint over the silver because I don't like the silver. That actually might give me some cool effects. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of growing on me. No, oh, it's not my favorite. But neither is white furniture. It doesn't really, this purple doesn't really go with this painting, but it's the closest thing I had. It was like either bright blue or neon green. Probably could just build up color in here. Come back with some blue and then cover it all with black. Come over it with black. Because even that spot where I put the red sharpie in there with the purple looks pretty cool. Alright, let's put that over there. Platinum is not actually that expensive. I think gold is actually pay priced more than platinum at this point. So, there's the purple. I just kind of dotted it in there. I'm going to go, once this, this paint dries, which it takes about 15-20 minutes, and I'm not going to make y'all wait. I'll do it later tonight or tomorrow morning. I'll go back in and see what other kind of cool things we can do with this. But, um, I had another idea and now I forgot. <laughs> I had all this stuff sitting out too, I thought. So I would remind myself of my idea. And of course I didn't write it down. I'll probably think of it tonight while I'm lying in bed and go, Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to do. So I'm going to write it on my whiteboard, and that way I won't forget. So, I have this huge whiteboard. It's three feet, is it two feet by four feet? Three feet by four feet, something like that, on my wall. On that, that wall right there. And then I have my calendar here, which I need to change. But that guy, that's when I wake up in the middle of the night. I wake up, grab my marker, scribble it down. Because I can write big, and if I have to write small, you'll never read it again. But if I can write big, I'll be able to read it, and I'll remember. That, and I write my grocery list on there. Um, I have my list of uh, TV shows that I like, so I can remember the names of them. So if they come on Amazon, I can watch them. Oh, excuse me. I've been having really weird dreams lately so I haven't been sleeping well I mean they're weird not scary but weird but scary I don't know how else to explain them so but I think that's that's kind of growing on me it looks like kind of reminds me of like if you were to look at the bottom of a lake I mean if it was a little bit more blue and not so much brown and whatever you can see the rocks in the sand. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So, we'll see. And that's the other thing I was going to do. i got to write that down right now. I'm going to write it down right now. I'm just going to write down lights. L-I-G-H-T-S. Because I am going to switch out that light for one of my clamp lights. Or put a filter on this light so that way I can have it. And not be so glarish and garish. But, why is it auto-focusing? I thought I turned that off. Mm. I don't know, it's kind of funky and cool. I'll let that dry, come back with other colors, and do more of them, see how it looks. Oyster shell. This looks like oyster shell, I guess. I guess it does. I always think oyster shells are more grays and whites with streaks of black. This is... Maybe on the camera it looks different. 
because <clears throat> yeah anyway we'll see how that dries and we'll come in and if that does the same thing tomorrow morning I wake up then I'm gonna have a different idea for tomorrow morning for tomorrow night and then Thursday night is Tish Talk and I have a subject that's really kind of cool in mind so I'm researching that as well I, I, I do things in chunks I don't know if anybody else, I don't know if anybody else does this but I'll work on something for a chunk of time like an hour and I'll be like okay I need to work on something else for a while because I'm getting burnt out on this or I can't think anymore I'm seeing cross-eyed or whatever so I'll go to another thing and then I'll get up and I'll go make dinner and or lunch or whatever and I'll go make food and then I'll come back and I'll eat food and while I'm eating I'll watch a YouTube video or three and you know like today I was watching a live and um, while I was eating my lunch I mean, it was very difficult eating my lunch because I was yeah really busy with that so anyway um, just a reminder we do have um the giveaway still in effect um today is what the 20 i don't even know what date it is today how sad is that i think it's the 23rd no yesterday was the 23rd today's the 24th i think you know if i didn't work i'd probably forget what date it was <laughs> um so if we can get 100 subscribers by october 1st i will do a giveaway on the 80th video and also on the 100th video so um, I will put the link to the Facebook post that I need you to go and like give it some love give it a share and I'm gonna choose from the people that comment on that post and the people that comment on the original YouTube post as well or YouTube video um, so, as I really want to thank you guys for your time and your patience with me as I learn and grow and I learn things. Yeah, today's the 24th. Okay, so we have six more days to get, I think I'm at 58 subscribers now. So, close to 60, so 40 more people. I if you have an artist friend, if you have a photographer friend, if you have a baker friend, if you have a cook or chef friend, you know, these are the kind of people that I want to bring into the channel. These are the people that I want to bring in because we're all creatives and we all have artists' minds and, and creative minds and that's kind of what I'm aiming my channel to is people who are creative and people who are artistic and you know need some inspiration need some motivation you know trying to live on a shoestring budget and need an idea to make you know something extravagant like a rotisserie chicken last you know four or five meals so which I've done because it's odd anyway we'll discuss that at another time right now I need to finish this live up and get another project that I have going. I need to finish that up. Well, get to a good stopping point. I forgot completely what time it was because, you know, there's even the little computer on the computer at the bottom of my screen that tells me what time it is, but I'm so enthralled in what I'm doing and figuring it out and getting it and I'm excited and it's just been a really exciting day. And because things are starting to click, they're starting to fall together and people are learning about me and about what my message is and what our message is here as a group and I'm excited for that and I'm just super excited for all of this so anywho I'll quit babbling I'm tired sleepy I'm a little damn bramaged so thank you for joining me tonight if you found value in this video, smash that like button. And if you like this video and would like to see more just like this one, or if you have an idea for videos, subscribe, click the notification bell, and let me know your ideas. 
I appreciate you. I am grateful for you. Thank you for joining me. Peace, love, and happiness.